Ipswich seemed very angry about the performance. Lo uh, losing, losing one all against Tottenham, and uh, make that the title, <laughs> right? Losing one all against Tottenham. I'm livid about the performance because in stages we were all right, but what, what really upset me about the performance today, the last 15 minutes, where was that head of steam? Where was that pressure? Where was that superiority that we, that we usually do against teams where we say, all right, we're going to pin you back, we're going to make chances. Where was that today? Well, Claude was just saying that he felt we ran out of steam because of the game during the midweek. It was uh, away, in, away in Bulgaria. The, hold, hold on us one second. What you've got to remember is away in Bulgaria and it was not an easy game. I think everyone's forgetting that we won it in the last minute of the game. Did, that was a tough game. Did Tottenham have an easy game? against Leverkusen no, where they, they lost a day after yeah, our game but they're playing at Wembley I'm saying no, it's a no, you got the long journey they played know. a day after I'm sorry but travelling to Bulgaria is really not that hard yeah you sit down on an aeroplane it's not a long haul flight let's not make really it's lame a short flight though either, and also it? Robbie they weren't flying on a rubbish airline like you and I do you know what I mean <laughs> they're in luxury that's not an excuse and if you're going to run out of steam in a game like this come on yeah, it's just, it's, I'm not taking that excuse. We had zero composure in the last 15 minutes of that game where we should have really been absolutely hammering them to get that win. It was embarrassing for me. I, you know, I'm not going to call out individual players, but there were certain players who I were embarrassed for in the last 15 minutes of that game, the, the way our level dropped. First half an hour, we were in second gear. It was kind of, you know... 50-50 game. We stepped up in the last 15 minutes of that first half and that's about the only time in the entire game where I thought right now we're roughly at a level that I can even class as acceptable. Even then we had two gears to go up that we never found today. Mm. And in the second half, haven't seen a penalty, I don't know what happened there, but the, we didn't bounce back from that. We didn't mm. get a wi any wind in ourselves and say, you know, come on, let's get at them do we have to give them a bit of credit i mean of course, of course you know do, defensively yeah. they are you can see that defensively they are a very good team they they've got that, that sort of free holding midfielders there in midfield it was very difficult to break them down and on the counter they were decent yeah look they, we have to give them credit they were good today but for god's sake you know if we don't get out of third gear of course it's going to be easy for another team to look good and I, we had you, you look at the way we've played at times this season against some other teams we just did not get out of third gear and what annoys me look i've said so many times and i i appreciate that you can't score every chance but i've said to you i think even against sunderland we're wasting too many chances right 15 shots, two on target, okay? The two on target was Iwobi's pass back to Loris and Giroud's cushion header right in the middle of the goal to Loris as well. And they were our two shots on target. That's not good enough, man. We need a bit more killer instinct. I just, you know, I'm very, very disappointed today. In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't change too much. City drew, us two have drawn, Chelsea have won. But, you know, a few weeks Andrew ago... look on some of the... Common denominator in that is like even City, you know, they were in the Champions League, had a very difficult game during the week. It does happen. The energy levels are going to drop a bit. I, I, I take that and I take that excuse if we weren't playing another team that was in Champions League. But let, let me remind you, I know it's shocking. Their energy levels look like they dropped as well. Champions League. Well, listen, I, I think they had a better second half than us. Mm. They, they, you know, so for me, they grew into the game. We didn't. And I, I'm just very, very disappointed today. I really am. You know, we should never, ever, as Arsenal fans, be happy not winning at home to Tottenham. Let, let's just send that message out straight, straight away. You know, so I, I can't walk away happy. Mm. But look, as I, was, as I was just about to say, grand scheme of things, nothing much is changing. Chelsea were nowhere a few weeks ago and now they're sitting at the top of the league. So it will it'll always be cycles this year. But you want this game to be an isolated 90 minutes of happiness, of joy, of success. And it wasn't that today. Just not happy.